it's Lychee. Today I'm going to review the Denver Amex Centurion Lounge. I basically got the Amex Platinum card for the first time a couple months ago, so I was waiting for a chance to get to go to one of the Centurion lounges. I did have like priority pass for quite a few years now, so I've been to a bunch of, I guess a handful of just random lounges when I have the chance to go, but um, this is my first time at one of the special Centurion ones, so I was definitely really excited. So I was going from Florida to California and had a couple hours, maybe one or two hours layover in Denver, so I was really excited to get the chance to check it out. First of all, I was there on like a Tuesday, middle of the day, like 2 or 3 p.m., and it was so crowded for some reason. I really don't think it was a particularly like popular time for traveling or anything like that so not really sure why it was so crowded but it was really really crowded like barely any seating like there was a line even just to check in at the desk which i feel like usually doesn't happen maybe like one or two people in front of you to check in like maximum but there was like an entire line so that was already kind of weird and I could see that it was like very busy. Anyways, um, the things that they want you to show at the desk, of course, is if you have the card, just give them the card. And also they need to scan the boarding pass of your next like departing flight to make sure that you can enter. So got through check-in without any huge issues. The Denver Lounge specifically, I felt like something was off about the lighting design. Like I just, I don't know if it was like the combination of people and the lighting, but I honestly felt very uncomfortable in that lounge. There was like big windows of glass that had a lot of natural lighting, but the indoor lighting was very like sallow kind of and warm and yellow. So it just felt like a little weird between those things. Plus they had like TVs playing and I think maybe also background music. So it really didn't feel particularly relaxing. All of that plus the amount of people, I was like, mm, okay. I mean, it doesn't really feel like a really fancy high class experience even though the quality of stuff was like supposedly higher it just felt like not relaxing whatsoever so that was like my initial vibe when i went in as for the actual things inside so they had like a warm food buffet and there was like maybe you know two choices of salads three choices of um like carbs and meats for whatever reason there was like six different types of desserts but they do have like a fair amount of options of different food. I did try some of it, but honestly not a lot of it was super appetizing to me. So there's that. I don't think any food was like bad, rotten, spoiled, nothing like that. So it's all fine. I do want to shout out that there was like another section that wasn't in the regular food area, but just like if you turn all the way in the left in the back, there's like a second bar and also this like small snack section. So they had like trail mix yogurt pretzels and like maybe nuts or something like that. But they had like these little plastic bags that you can fill up with snacks that if you want to take them with you. Um, they also had like a variety of shrink wrap fruits, like the bananas were not shrink wrap, but I think apples and pears. So if you wanted to grab something to go, it was also possible for tea, coffee, and they also serve alcohol there. I didn't see any sorts of to-go cups or containers or water bottles that you could take liquids to go. So that's something to be aware of. Um, if you want to take something to go, they don't have like liquid to-go containers. I mean, that was a little annoying because it would have been ideal if I like took a cup of coffee with me, but I also didn't flag anyone down to ask if I could have a to-go cup. So maybe if I did that, they would have had one, but um, I guess they're trying to discourage that. Anyways, the last thing that I wanted to talk about, the Denver Lounge has two bars in it and they serve a bunch of different wines and beers and also cocktails. I tried one of the cocktails that was called like Bobby Pin or something. Man, that was so good. It was very like refreshing. It felt kind of like, um, I think it's probably a twist on like the Aperol Spritz and maybe they added like one or two different ingredients or something, but yeah, it was really, really good. Um, you should definitely tip the bartenders and if the line at the main bar is too long, like I mentioned, there's a secondary smaller one in like the back section if you can find it. But yeah, I would say that was probably the best benefit of going to a Centurion lounge is just being able to chill and get a drink. But 
Like I said, I felt like the vibes was not very good. It was very crowded. Oh, one more thing that I should talk about is the amount of seating. So most of the seating was open seating. Only the ones on the edges and stuff really have a lot of space for outlets and things. A lot of the tables in the center, I think, you wouldn't be able to plug in your devices, so that's a little annoying as well. There is, I think, just like one or two small isolated like phone booth rooms that you can take. I went into one of them because I was FaceTiming my friend and the door didn't like really close. Like you could see there was a clear gap in the door, so it was definitely not like soundproof or airtight or anything like that so i still felt like everyone could hear my conversation so if you are worried about that um don't take any sort of extremely sensitive calls i guess i also saw there was another like sectioned off area that was like a family room i guess i just peeked inside there was no one in there but it seems to be like have a couple of toys for kids and like a tv that plays cartoons so maybe that's like a good benefit for families but yeah, overall, I would say um, I'm going to rate this maybe like a 6 out of 10. Honestly, nice to stop by and just grab something if you badly need it, like you're hungry and don't have food or you just want to get a drink, but not really a cool or fun place to hang out overall. I think it's in need of some renovation in terms of the lighting and spacing and could probably improve also on quality of food. So yeah. If you guys have any other questions or things that you're curious about, please leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer. But thanks so much for watching. Bye.